even when everything looks perfect, a top quality embryo, a receptive uterus and a textbook transfer, implantation doesn't always happen. And when that happens, patients are left heartbroken, wondering what went wrong. I am Dr. Aniruddha Malpani and the truth is that this is one of the most painful phases in the IVF journey because embryo implantation is still one of the biggest mysteries in reproductive science. Even today, implantation remains a biological black box. Despite decades of research, we still don't fully understand why one embryo implants while another that looks identical under the microscope does not. There are many factors involved, but none of them are completely predictable. A perfect looking blastocyst may still have subtle genetic or metabolic abnormalities that no microscope can detect. The uterine lining has to be perfectly synchronized with the embryo and even a small timing mismatch can affect implantation. In rare cases, immune or clotting issues can interfere. And sometimes it's simply biology being biology, random, unpredictable and outside our control. Even if every single test looks perfect, there is no medicine, technique or add-on that can guarantee implantation. After a failed cycle, patients naturally want to do something different next time. And this is where many clinics step in with a long list of add-ons. Acupuncture, detox programs, blood thinners, immune therapy, ERA tests, PGS testing and so on. These sound scientific and reassuring. But the uncomfortable truth is that most of them don't meaningfully improve implantation rates. Once a healthy embryo is inside a receptive uterus, very little can influence whether implantation will succeed. The biology is already in motion. And please, never blame yourself for a failed cycle. You've done everything, every injection, every appointment, every instruction, every prayer. If the embryo didn't implant, it doesn't mean your body failed. It simply means this embryo was not destined to become a baby. This realization is heartbreaking, but it can also be freeing because it helps you stop fighting shadows and stop blaming yourself for things no human can control. Be cautious about clinics that immediately push donor eggs, donor sperm, surrogacy or expensive tests after a single failed cycle. These decisions should never be made in panic. Always demand transparency always ask for your embryo photos. These images tell you far more about your cycle than any sales pitch. Here's the good news. Your second IVF cycle is almost always emotionally easier. You already understand the process and you know what to expect. Frozen embryo transfers are simpler, safer, more convenient and have success rates that are as good as and sometimes better than fresh cycles. The takeaway is simple. Embryo implantation is delicate, unpredictable and impossible to fully control, even with modern science. But what is in your control is choosing the right information, the right guidance and a doctor who is honest with you instead of selling you false hope. If you've had a failed IVF cycle and feel lost about what to do next, don't stay confused. My free IVF chatbot is available 24x7 and gives you instant, honest, personalized guidance based on my 40 years of clinical experience. Use it right now and get clarity on your next steps.